Today we're going to learn a little bit more about what we call factor trees. So ideally you've already watched the factor video and know what a factor is. We're going to go ahead and look at factor trees. The other thing that you'll have to know before you watch this video is what a prime number is. What a prime number is. We'll do a little review on our next screen. Today we're going to learn about factor trees. To understand factor trees, you better have an understanding of how to factor. You also need to know your primes. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Those are just some of your prime numbers. Here I'm showing you a factor tree for 6. And so we started off with this number 6, and we thought of a multiplication fact that could equal 6. So for instance, 3 times 2 does equal 6. We actually could have had a different looking factor tree if we had chosen 2 times 3 for breaking down. And both of these are possible factor trees for 6. Let's go ahead and break down 12. If we think about 12 and breaking it down, we know that 2 times 6 equals 12. Anytime we have a prime number in a factor tree, we'll bring it down, and we'll bring that straight down. 6, what two numbers can multiply together to get 6? Right, 2 and 3. Multiply together to get 6. So, 2 times 2 times 3 is our prime factorization for 12. You'll notice that each level, and we call these levels, you notice here is 2 times 6. Hey, you know what? That equals 12. 2 times 2 times 3. Hey, you know what? That also equals 12. Each level of your factor tree does have to equal that number that you are building a factor tree for. The reason that we can stop here is that each of these numbers, 2, 2, and 3, are prime. And then so we have our factor tree for 12 and one of our possible factor trees for 12. In other words, there are other ones that are possible depending on how it is that we chose to break down 12. So for instance, we could have done 12 with 3 times 4. And if we had done that, we would have ended up with this here. And if you notice, if you notice, these numbers here, even though they are not in the same order, we do have the same numbers. We've got two twos here and one three. We've got two twos here and one three here as well. We've got read right this example right here where it says, and the question says, draw a factor tree for 18. And then so of course we're gonna go ahead and start with 18. We'll start with 18 right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and change some colors right here. 18 is gonna broken down into two parts. Two parts. And so if we chose, I don't know, let's choose 2, and 2 goes with, 2 goes with what to get 18? 2 goes with 9. I have these two numbers right here, 2 or 9. Are all of them prime? Because if they're all prime, then we're done. 2 is prime. 9 is not prime. It's one of those tricky numbers right there, I would think. I call it a tricky number because sometimes we kind of want to say that that is prime, but it's not what two numbers can we multiply together to get 9? Those numbers are 3 and 3. Correct. I'm going to go ahead and put my multiplication signs in between there to be precise. Mathematicians are always precise. And so this, on this lowest level of our factor tree, we've got the numbers 2 times 3 times 3. And so 18, this is one of those possible factor trees for 18. Can you... Draw another factor tree for 18. We'll go ahead and hit pause right now while you draw that factor tree for 18. Good luck. Again, don't choose 2 times 9 because we already did that for you. And then you'd just be copying this one right here. All right. And then so you had probably had a whole bunch of different possibilities for this factor tree for 18. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the pause right there. And then I, if you just wait for me for a second, I'll be right back. And I'm going to draw a whole bunch of those different factor trees we might have seen for 18. <laughs> if you look around, I think that I got all of them. If you pause the video, you can go ahead and see if one of yours is listed right here. And if not, you can go ahead and let me know. 
that I missed one of those factor trees and possible factor trees for 18. If you notice on the lowest level of each and every single one of those factor trees, I've got exactly those same factors. We've got exactly those same factors. And then if we got exactly those same factors, that was an accidental move there of the factor trees to sort of shift there. We've still got those two threes, and we've got that two. If we put them in order from least to greatest, we'd have two times three times three, and we would know at our lowest level that our lowest level is the same, and our lowest level of our factor tree must it's just the same as every level, must not only have prime numbers, but it'll evaluate to what it is that we are drawing that factor tree for. What are we are drawing the factor tree for? I'm going to draw some factor trees up on the next screen. You tell me whether they are proper factor trees or whether they're completely finished or whether there's something wrong with them. Let's play. Is it a proper factor tree? Is it a proper factor tree? Let's take a look at this first one here and you're gonna answer yes or no. Is this a proper factor tree? Hopefully you said, no, it is not a proper factor tree. We would never bring one down in the factor tree, and 15 is not prime. A proper looking factor tree for 15 would look like this here. It's just five times three, and five and three are both primes, so we are done with that factor tree. Now let's take a look at another one. Is this a proper factor tree for 21? What did you say? Hopefully you said yes. Let's take a look right here. Is this a proper factor tree for 30? Looks like it so far, but we forgot to bring down the five. And then so I'll go ahead and write that in orange there. That five comes straight down. Remember, each level of our factor tree must evaluate, must have that value of what it is that we are drawing a factor tree for. So two times three is six, times five is 30. So it's a proper factor tree. It's time for you to try. Please draw a factor tree for the number 32. Please hit pause. And here's a possible factor tree for 32. You'll still have those same factors at the lowest level of your factor tree as long as you figured out your factor tree correctly. 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. A common mistake is for students to forget to put the multiplication sign where it's supposed to go. 8 breaks down into 2 times 4. And so you'll notice we actually have to have one more level of our factor tree. Two times two is what four breaks down into. So we've got two times two times two times two times two. Or two to the fifth power, if we were thinking about exponents. And so that's our prime factorization of 32. I would have accepted it also if you had written out two times two times two times two times two. So I started this out again, that's 16, just showing you that other way again. 8 breaking down into 4 times 2, and if we brought this 2 down, bring it down like that there. See, this is where you might have ended up, and you might have gone, hey, what do I do now? And that's a great reason as to why it is that we learned from each other, and we got 4 then. We got 4, and 4 breaks down into 2 times 2, we'll bring down this 2, we'll bring down this 2, but we had to bring down more than one 2 this time. So our each and every single level, again, does equal 16. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. And again, what I was saying before is 2, that's 2 to the 4th power. If you watched our exponent video, or if you're one of those advanced students, great students who listens, we got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the 4th power, that does equal 16. 16. And then so again, this is what we call a factor tree. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is what we call the prime, prime what? Prime factorization. Yep, that lowest level there is our prime factorization, our prime factorization. Instead of writing it out all nice and crooked and all that, I went ahead. So our prime factorization of 16 is just 2 to the 4th. This here still is our prime factorization. 
where that whole thing was our factory tree. Oh boy, it's test time, it's test time. Do you know what we call this right here? We call this 20, and if we added something like looks like this, 5 times 4, this is 5, this is times, this is 2, this is 2, 5 times 2 times 2, this is a what? What do we call this whole thing? A, did you say factor tree? Each of these right here, by on the screen, each of these is a what of the factor tree, a level of the factor tree. And if we look at the levels of the factor tree, what has to be true about each of the levels of the factor tree? Each of the levels of the factor tree have to be equal, correct. They have to be equal. And then so we've got 20. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 times 2 is 20. That lowest level is called our prime factorization. Oops, I gave you the answer for that there, is our prime factorization. Except, one thing with our prime factorization, what do we have to do with our prime factorization? We have to make sure that they are in order, correct. Order from least to greatest. So we've got 2 times 2 times 5. What was this called again? The what? The prime factorization of what number? Of 20. Of 20. 2 times 2 times 5 is the prime factorization of 20. What do you think 2 times 2 times 5 evaluates to? 2 times 2 is 4. Times 5 is 20. That prime factorization, 2 times 2 times 5. On your own, I want to go ahead and hit for you to draw a factor tree for the numbers 24, for the numbers 49, and for the number 32. The other thing that I want you to do before you hit pause right now is to go ahead and find the prime factorization for each of these numbers. So after you figure out the factor tree, go ahead and order those factors. And remember, they have to be a prime number on that lowest level of the factor tree. Go ahead and list those prime numbers of those fact at that lowest level in order. And that way, and after the break, after the pause, your answer should look exactly like what will be on the screen. Go ahead and hit pause. Go ahead and hit pause. Ideally, you hit pause. Go ahead and erase that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and come back to you with the prime factorization of each of those numbers that you already figured out. So ideally for 24, what you came up with, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 for our prime factorization of 24. And then for our factor tree, I'm sure that you came up with something that ended up looking similar. Remember that was our lowest level of our factor tree and then we put those back in order for our prime factorization. I'm boxing all of our prime factorization. But on your own for those factor trees, ideally you came up and you worked it out. You worked it out where you had 24 and you did something similar to this. Remember your answer could vary depending on what it is that you ended up choosing. But if you put those back in order and you remembered of what a prime number is, then you would have come up with exactly that same thing. Thanks for joining us today.